It was Matt's dream to build this centre, and he talks about it, how this place saved his life. We almost lost Matt, but he had a reason to fight to live. I just wanted to see this place, see it officially open, see the work of the foundation, see what an amazing facility this is. I need to uh, be here. Hambo and Mike Tyndall officially opened the building on the 2nd of October. Uh, the few tears of joy, his dream came true. It's been four years, it's been some special moments. But I think the highlights are the stuff you see every day. The centre is fantastic and it's a beautiful location and it's an amazing building, but it's the people inside it that make this place so special. You know, when people turn up here for the first time, they're broken. When you're initially injured, it's uh, really, really difficult to come to terms with that. This place can put things in perspective. You just watch people grow. Let's toss disability out the window. What we're about is finding the right way for them to move forward. This is an amazing place and everybody who walks through them front doors leave with a positive experience. Even though it's obviously for rehabilitation, it's as far away from a, a kind of hospital as you could imagine. Most people can only have physio as long as they can afford it. Here you get to see people for as long as you need. That opportunity, well it's unheard of. I can come here on my own, lots of machines here that I haven't seen before. I can use every piece of equipment independently. Here, I challenge myself. Can I regain muscle that I've lost? And, and for the most part, I'm doing it, and I'm not supposed to be able to. And they told me I'd never walk again. And then come here, took my first proper steps about four weeks later. Dan's our first guy to walk here. To give somebody that opportunity is very, very special. The physical responses and the, the emotional responses just go hand in hand. This is why this place is just completely unique. You come into this family feeling place and you feel like you can speak. Oh, I've had some issues off the field with my wife being extremely ill with terminal cancer. I brought Tiff up here actually and she loved it. You've got someone there who understands kind of what you're going through. When you're with him, the, the positivity he gives you, the energy he gives you about life definitely helped me through some tough times. and. Um, you know, always be thankful for that. If they come along here and, and see the mental support, feel a part of something and see that hope and a purpose once again. We felt very lost in the foundation. It's been life-changing. Advice and knowledge, that was one of the biggest assets. There's lots of opportunities for disabled people out there. You can lead a great and fulfilled life. They can talk to people who are uniquely qualified to help them to make something positive. These like it's Hambo's house, the kitchen, the importance of sitting down to a meal together where conversation is had. The plan is to have at least two two bedroom units where beneficiaries can stay in there, but also their carers. To come here and uh, get simple things like bathrooms, it's big when you've got a very bad interest. To have accommodation here, beneficiaries and their families can come along and get busy living. The support we get has been amazing, but people are always going to get injured. Right now we need a full team behind us to raise as much money as modestly possible. It's not just about the advantages that I can get, it's more about what I might be able to do for the other guys here. It certainly has taught me how precious life is. There is a lot of things that restrict us, but nothing ever stops us. Even if you're making small bits of progress, take kind of solace. Focus on the things you can do, ignore the things that you can't. Push it, see how far you can take it. Where I am now, uh, back when I was in hospital, is completely unthinkable. Not to have the foundation, it was never going to happen. So this place is massive. I'm not sure what we would have done without this place. It taught me life does go on. For that, I'm be forever thankful. Oh, yeah.